Hello, Peck and Apache Man, uh, Man Shevin, how may I help you? Yes, guys, how's it going? It is Loop Coast or Derek. Well, not Loop Coast or Derek, it's Loop Coast. My YouTube name is Loop Coast, my proper name is Derek. How's it going? I hope everyone ha is having an unbelievable day. I'm having a good day so far. Today, I am going to be talking about that I got, I got a second job. Okay, so I, I was walking home one day and I saw on the on Apache's doors and it said staff wanted to apply within. So I said, you know what? I'm going to chance my arm and I'm going to go in and I'm going to hand in my CV. So I got home and I got my CV. Yeah, so I seen the sign on the door handing in my CV. He said everything's okay. So I walked around town and he said he'll be giving me a phone call in the near future. When he said the near future, I was like, oh, I didn't get the job. He, he's not happy with my CV already. So I, I was sitting in the Luigi's, which is just a um, a few a few steps, a few footsteps away from Apache, and I got I missed actually I missed a phone call and it was from Apache and I started freaking out. I was like, oh no way! Like I missed the call. Like that's it now. So I said I'm going to go into him. So I went into Apache and I said hello. Yes, I I missed the call from you. I'm sorry. I couldn't get to my phone. And it was all okay. He said, yeah, I've been into the next night. And at first I was like shocked. I was like. An interview already, like holy crap, they must actually be happy with my CV. It's the first time, like, it's the easiest place to hand in the CV, and like, I got a job. It, well, I didn't get a job. Well, technically, I got a job. But, anyways, back to where I am in the story. Well, it's a different map. I am such an idiot. I was just going back down my recording. I said, let's go back to where I am in the story. Well, not technically a story, but it's a story. But, no, it's not. It's just a fucking interesting subject. And, anyways, let me just turn on this dude real quick. Okay, hit Marcus for today's. I'm not going to bother him anymore. And I had to look back on the clip and see what he actually said. I forgot what he said. And what I did say was that he said I had an interview the next day. So yeah, an interview the next day, I didn't know what to wear. I was like, oh, what am I going to wear? So I just put on a pair of jeans and a jumper and I tried to look nice. And, and I said, why not? Let's, here we go. So I went in anyway and it wasn't even an interview. He met me. The manager at the counter said, okay, come around back and... So I, I went around back and he gave me the, my uniform, like the bloody, your hat, the t-shirt, and oh, what's that thing called? Uh, the thing that chefs wear around their neck and it goes, an apron, an apron, that's the one. Just think I would know the fucking name of it. Yeah, so he gave me that uniform and I, I my, my eyes kind of opened, I was like, what do I have the job already? I, I said to him like, where am I starting? And he said... Oh no no! I'm only giving you a trial a trial hour, and I said, okay, that's that's fair enough, fine, fine, fine. No, I was very, I'm not even gonna lie, I was very nervous. Like walking in here, I came out, I didn't, I kind of didn't look to, uh, to I me. Mean, like I never wear hats before, I never wear hats or caps. Like and this time I had it, so I just went around with, it and he showed me like around the kitchen, the Chinese part of it and all that. It was all good. Basically, the first night was just getting used to things, and he was telling me what my my duties will include. My duties have are in, on the first night included taking orders and making pizzas. Yes, you heard me right. On the first night, my duties were taking was taking orders and making people people's pizzas. Now bear in mind, I barely know how to use a laptop, um, and everything like that. But that's what I've got to do it and taking orders as well, like and. Everything on the computer is like it's all computerized, like for taking orders. Like you have your in-store menu, your packing menu, and all that, all that good stuff. Anyway, so he was just telling me like how to like talk on phone, be polite to people. And when the answer be like, "Hello, packing a patch of my shirt, how may I help you?" And then like show me the basic like, if it's a if it's an order for collection or delivery, and like where to find the right foods on the menu and all that. So I was honest with him. I said, "John, that's that's the manager's name." That's all I'm going to say to him. I, I I'm going to say about him. Sorry. I was like, John, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really know much about, like, your food. I order a few pizzas, but, like, I'm not madly, like, in love with the place. One of the reasons I did get the job was because, like, people know that I work down in St. Vincent Paul Charge Shop in my town. And to be honest with you, the money isn't great. I'm not going to lie, the money isn't great. So I saw this I saw this as a chance to get a bit of extra money and put it towards myself. So anyways, yes, first night, anyway, bring me around in the kitchen and all that. And he said, I will see you tomorrow at 6 o'clock. And I was like, no, 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 that can't be right. So I, when he said, I'll oh, see you tomorrow at 6 o'clock, I was like, I was like so happy. I was like, wait, are you actually happy with me? And he said, yes, to be honest with you, you're probably one of the best like starters we've ever had. And I was like, I was kind of shocked now because I've never like heard anything like that before. So anyways, I, I'm all buzzing like I come home and tell my mother and all that. And she's like, oh, well done and all that like crap. And 
it's all good. It comes up to next day and it's I think half past five and I'm starting to get another set of like this Derek like this is your first day and all that. So But I didn't I didn't want to worry about it too much, so I wrote I walked in, I shook his hand, he introduced me to the people that I didn't see on my trial day or my trial hour. So I got introduced to them, I said hello and all that. It was all it was all good. Goes on and I put on my uniform and he said, Derek, tonight you're going to be taking orders. And I was like, why? Oh, yeah, okay. I'm like, I'm going to need help. He's like, yeah, I'm going to be beside you the whole time. Now, two things on this, right? The till in St. Vincent de Paul is all buttons. It's one of them old, old, uh, oldish, oldish tills. Like, that has the buttons on it. And this one was on the computer and everything was computerized and touchscreen and all that. So... He just showed me if someone rings, if someone's rings, this is what you select. If somebody orders online, this button will flash. And like, when I, when he started showing me how to do all these, like on my first thing, like I knew they were looking for a worker to start, like to start straight away because they were very low on staff. And that was a good thing for me as well, because like I knew I would have had a better chance in getting the job, which I already did get the job. I'm just repeating myself again, so please just bear with me. So yeah, I get my first order and uh, he, he started playing out like where I go to like oh, I've, uh, where to answer the phone and all that and like what comes up on the computer when somebody does ring up. Comes up anyway, they address their name and all that but this was a new customer so he had to, he had to show me how to save. I, he, he was just like B play so I had to or, I had to answer and I was like hello Pekin Apache Mon Chevin, how may I help you? Uh, excuse me. I didn't burp or I didn't say excuse me. Like, I didn't know what to say after I said hello Pekin Apache Mon Chevin. I think I might just leave at that from now on, to be honest. But, anyways, I started off with Hello, Peck and Apache Mon Chevin, how may I help you? And then, like, she was like, Can I order for delivery, please? I was like, Yeah, of course, no problem, what can I get you? And I was hoping she would order the pizza side of things, because the pizza side of things on the computer looked looked easy, but she did. She ordered some of the Chinese side of things, so I knew, like, I had to get I had to get used to it. I think she ordered, like, some, like, chicken, chicken with black bean sauce or something, and I didn't have a clue where to get, so obviously I had to call over the manager to show me. He showed me, and to be honest with you, it was pretty simple. It was right in front of me there. You click peck and you click chicken, you click with black bean sauce. He just, he, after the first night, he just said, basically, Derek, what I want you to do is just study the menu a bit more. So he gave me three menus, and I, I've actually been studying in the past uh, few days now just to get more used to it. And so pretty, I don't really think I've achieved anything in this video, really. I don't think I have. No. The purpose of this video is just to let you guys know that I am I now working two jobs to put towards building the ultimate setup and up, update, upgrading, oh you bollocks, upgrading my YouTube basically set up and up, trying to kickstart something on YouTube, get better equipment and all that as well. So that is the, one of the reasons I did get it and right now I'm, I think I am four, four or three days into it and I'm feeling really comfortable in the now. Everyone is so nice in there, I'm starting to get the hang of answering the phone and I'm not saying that I couldn't answer the phone before, I'm not a fucking dumbass, but could answer the phone. He's like, I'm learning like how to use the, how to use their computer a bit more and like taking online orders and like how how to deal with people. On the topic of dealing with people, there's just one last thing I want to say. It was my second night working. It was lashing rain outside, and two two women came in, and they were stinking of beer. So I thought, oh, they were after being out and pissed, and they had a fiver in their hand, and they said, excuse me, what can what can we get? For, uh, what can we get for two people for a fiver? I said, you could get two bags of chips. And they said, is that all you're going to give us? Two effing bags of chips. We are effing homeless. And when they said they're homeless, I felt so bad. My heart literally dropped. I was like, holy shit, no way did I just say that to a homeless person. Yeah, so two homeless people came in, right? And mon once they said they were homeless, my heart dropped. I felt like such a bad person. And so I called over the manager and I explained to him. And he said, I'm so, so sorry, like, but there's nothing, nothing he could do about it. And now... He meant there's nothing he could do about giving him like food, and she thought, she thought he meant that there's nothing he can do about them being homeless, which you no, know, she got the wrong end of the stick completely. So, anyways, they were walking out and they were like, "That is, this is like effing this, effing disgrace for like it's a foot." I'm just gonna say, "Foot is a fucking joke." They were just saying all that, and I was just like shocked. I was just like looking at the manager, I was like, "How is he dealing with this like very calmly?" and 
Anyways, now some people are going to be in the some people are going to be in the comment section. Oh, like you're like you're very like this style. You're right. Why didn't you offer a meal? Trust me, I did. I asked the manager, would you not offer them like pizza and chips? But he said there's unfortunately nothing he can do about it. And when he said that, they thought, uh, they thought I guess that he meant there's nothing he can do about them being homeless, which he didn't. He meant there's nothing he can do about uh, trying to get food. So, um. Walking out the door, there was actually a customer with now a kid inside, and she she turns around to him and says, "Thank you so much. I'm going to say a prayer for you. You're a gentleman, because she mu he must have gave her the fiver." So it was all, all all it was all okay then. They were walking out, turned around to the counter, and said, "You're nothing but foreign bastards. The both of you, including me and the manager, and I." He was like, "Excuse your language. Like, get out." Like, he was being very, very, very nice about. It. Like, he didn't start, like start going mad back to him. He just asked him politely to leave, so they did. And that's that's not where it ends, right? My next day, my next shift was the next day, and I was sitting in the Luigi's yet again to wait to go in. And one of my friends, Corey, was working there, so I I was talking to him, and I actually asked him because he works in the Luigi's, and I asked him. Yo, did uh, did these two women call call in? And he was like, yeah, they did, right? And I was like, do you know they're homeless? And he he brought like he started laughing. He was like, they're no, they're not. I was like, uh, yeah, they are. He was like, no, they are not. And then I explained I explained the details about the girls, and he said, yeah, they're matching. I was, he was like, they're they're not homeless. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, tell me first what happened. So I explained to him how they came in, like how they approached us and all that. And he's like, they're they came in here with a fifty euro note and got a big meal for the bottom. So they had money, they were not homeless, what they were in fact trying to do was trying to scrounge free food, which I thought was pure and utter disrespectful, absolutely atrocious mocking uh, homeless people. And he, he just said, Derek, you're new in this business, man, you, you may get used to it. After that, he was just like, wow, like, this is actually appalling. Off subject, now, my duties are still including now taking orders, making pizzas, rag, 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 keeping the kitchen clean and whatever, stuff like that. And to be honest with you, I am really actually enjoying that. I actually love working there now. It's so enjoyable to actually do, like, and see how they make pizzas and all. I'm still getting hanging making pizzas. So if somebody gets a bad pizza out of Apache, I will hold on my hands for that and do not blame anyone else, just me. Anyways, the food is good. Life is good so far. I'm enjoying life, working two jobs. It's busy enough. I'm struggling to play video games. But sure, look, if I had sacrifices I have to make, so I'm not going to complain too much. I'm, get, I'm getting something towards my setup, so at least it's better than just saying, oh yeah, I just work in a charge shop, I can say now I work in a charge shop, and I also work in Apache Pizza, making pizzas, and rally, 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 rah. But anyways, that is going to conclude it for this video, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, it's always appreciated guys, if you missed my previous video, where I talk about my first love, it's not really interesting, but I just have it in the description anyway, for the bants. So, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video, and remember, Peck and Apache has the best pizzas. Bye!